Graph on your calculator the function to answer the questions. Round answers to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So I went into y equals on my calculator, and I put 2x to the third minus 11x squared plus 12x. And then I'm going to do zoom, and I'm going to go down to z standard. I just like to start from z standard. Um, it's just a nice base start. So it all happens within my picture, which is great. So my first question, A, is what are the x-intercepts? To find that, I'm going to do second calc, and I'm going to go to 0 and hit enter. Now I want my cursor to the be to the left of my first x-intercept, and I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to have it to the right and hit enter, and then enter again. So my first um, x-intercept is 0, 0. So I'm going to write that in here. And you want to write it as an ordered pair. So let's find the next one. So once again, I do second calc, 0. And I'm going to have it to the left of my point, to the right of the point, and hit Enter again. And then that's my next one. So I'm going to put a comma here, 1.5, comma, 0. And of course, we have one more. So we're going to do second, calc, zero. I'm going to get a little closer here. So this is the left side, and then the right side, and then enter. And that's my next and my last x-intercept, so four, zero. And once again, you want to write them as ordered pairs and not just numbers. So the next question is, what is the y-intercept? To do that, I'll go into second calc, and I'm going to do value. So I'm going to hit enter. Now when we think about the y-axis, it's where x is 0. So I'm going to put 0 in for x. And when I hit enter, it just so happens to be also an x-intercept. But 0, 0 is my y-intercept. What is the local maximum? So I'm going to do second, calc, go down to maximum, and hit enter. And now I want my cursor to the left side of the maximum, and it's pretty much on the left there, so I'm going to hit enter. Now to the right side of that maximum, and hit enter, and enter again. Now the question wants me to round to the nearest hundredth. That's two decimal places. So my local maximum will be 0 0.67, comma, and 3.7, or 3.70. Now let's look for what is the local minimum. So second calc, I'm going to go to minimum and hit enter. So I'm going to go, oh my gosh, we might need to change our picture here. So I'm going to go to my window and make my Y minimum a little bit bigger so I can really see it. Now I'm going to graph. Okay, so I for sure can see my minimum there. So second calc. Enter for minimum. So I'm going to be to the left side of that minimum point, hit enter. To the right side of that minimum point, hit enter, and then enter for my guess. So my minimum turns out to be, my local minimum anyway, 3, negative 9. So where is the function increasing? Well, let's look at this. It's increasing from negative infinity to this point, to my maximum, my local maximum. So we have negative infinity to that maximum. And we always talk about the x. So it's going to be to 0 0.67. And it includes it. But we also have increasing from this point, our local minimum, to infinity. Remember, we always use the x-axis when we talk about um, increasing and decreasing. So that's going from 3 to infinity. Now let's look where the function is decreasing. Well, it's going to be decreasing from here down. So that maximum point we've decided, and it includes it, is 0 0.67, comma, and it's going to be decreasing to 3. And it includes 3. 